Alright, my name is Dre King and this is my final presentation. Alright, so a little bit about myself. I went to uh, Creekside Elementary School, Liberty Middle School. Uh, I am a senior. I will be graduating this year, hopefully. Going to Arapahoe Community College. And then CU after. And then I've taken all the engineering classes that Randy has to offer before seeing projects. Alright, so my company logo is very simple. It's a play on words, because I intend to integrate a pneumatic tube system into a home, and it's the home attic. And then it just catches the eye with the dark background and the bright color in the letters. Alright, so my project objectives were uh, to finish my CSWP. I already have parts one and three done, I just need to finish part two, which I'll hopefully do this week. Uh, complete my CSWP. That did not happen, unfortunately. Uh, so research the pressure differentials using uh, shoots and tubes. I did do a little bit of work on that. Uh, it's a lot of math involved. Uh, learn how to send signals through the wires. I didn't get to automating it, so I didn't do too much work with any wires. And become a better public speaker, which hopefully I can do and, and do. Alright, so project description and inspiration, like I said, I want to integrate a pneumatic tube system into the walls of my house so that I can send food from my pantry or any room in the house so I don't have to get up. And, uh, and my inspiration was actually Ryan. He asked, what do you want to do? He didn't have any ideas. He said, what do you do a lot? I said, I'm in my basement. It's where my room is and my computer is. I'm like, I eat food a lot. He said, might as well stay down in my basement and get food sent right to me. It's a little, life a little easier. All right, so my advisors, I have an expert advisor, Peter Senevi. He's a managing partner of Sentuity. He's also a software engineer that helps people uh, try to present their ideas and make their sales a lot easier. Uh, I have Brian Hostetter, uh, one of my just advisors. Helps me with SolidWorks, proofreading. Uh, Tyler Rooney, moral support. We got some physics help, so I need a lot of uh, so, my parents, it was mostly financial support, not too much moral support. Got yelled at a lot. Uh, Adam Powell is a senior projects master and a proofreader. And we have Avery Smith, he's another former senior projects er, and another master. So, we got the technology that I used. I used SolidWorks and 3D printer. Did most of my designing on SolidWorks. And then I had a 3D printed book. Transport capsule right here, which is kind of a pain. I'll talk about that later. Uh, so the research I did first, I didn't know how a pneumatic tube system worked at all. I just kind of saw pictures of it and knew it from the bank. Uh, so the way it works is it just uses two different uh, air pressures. You got a low pressure area and a high pressure area. The tube capsule wants to go from the high pressure to the low pressure. It's, it's pretty much it. It's very simple technology. Um, so I had to learn the different pres uh, pressure differentials. And what I found with that is you need a, one area blowing on the tube capsule to create a high pressure, and then you need a vacuum sucking air out to create a low pressure. And then what the transport capsule looks like. I'd only seen them at the bank when I was really little. So I had to do some research. They look like this. It's kind of similar to mine. They made mine a little, a little more simple and cheaper. And then some more research. I needed to find a way to make the most efficient receiving station so they stay airtight. Uh, the best compressor to use, I was looking at because all the compressors I was finding were way too expensive, like break the bank type expensive. And then how to bend PVC pipes, because I wanted to get some curves in my system. And then I'll talk about that later. I found that you can heat them up to bend them, but there's some problems with that. Alright, so my initial timeline. I intended on working, just researching in October, then going on to November to start working on the actual transport capsule, and then work with some pressure simulations in SOLIDWORKS. What actually happened, October, I was pretty accurate about it. it was just all research. And then in November, I started designing the transport capsule. And most of November was dedicated to designing this. So for the, my projected, it was December, I was going to shop for tubes, 
go on the job shadow and complete the journal. In January, work on my mid-year presentation and continue working with the pressure simulations. My, what actually happened was, in December, I had to redesign the tube capsule because I had a fair amount of problems with that. And then I did go on the job shadow and complete the journal. And then in January, I realized that I needed to make the receiving station. So January was dedicated to making that and doing some research on a types of compressors. So February, March, I was going to look for the compressors and uh, start construction of the tube system. And then throughout March, it was all dedicated to building the actual system. What actually happened was February, I finished designing the receiving station on SOLIDWORKS. And I was researching how to bend the PVC pipe so I could start doing the actual construction. And then I started building the receiving stations. And then in March, I had to finish uh, building the second receiving station. Because those took me a little while to do all in class. In the initial April, I had all designated to working on my project, making the board, making the website, and the journal. And what actually happened was pretty much all construction happened here and the whole presentation. I had to remake both the receiving stations because of some problems I had with that. I had to put together the system and I had to do the poster board, my website, and the journal. So with the transport capsule, you have this middle area right here. Show this. Both these caps and screw, you can see right there. And then we have the assembly of it. And then with the receiving station, designed it all in SOLIDWORKS. Didn't take me too long. It's pretty, pretty easy part to make, just a box. So, so I started building it, and I ended up with this. This is what the final outcome of it was. It was a lot easier than what I had designed on SOLIDWORKS. Some of the pitfalls that I had, I, have the, I did mention the tubes incorrectly. I was putting them all into the assembly, kind of realized that uh, it was way too big. Because so I needed a three inch diameter. That's the size of the PVC pipe they use. And when I looked in SOLIDWORKS, this section right here was about four-ish inches. So I knew that wasn't going to work. So I had to redesign that tried putting it together again, realized that I had the caps dimension wrong as well because I dimensioned it to fit with this. So I had to redimension the caps, just had a lot of technical problems with that. And then started 3D printing, printed the first cap out, realized I had it threaded in the wrong direction so it didn't screw on. And so then I had to reprint two more caps. And I'm glad I only printed the one at first because it could waste a lot of material. And then Another thing is that halfway through the year, I realized that I needed a receiving station because I hadn't planned for it all in my timeline, which was stupid on my part. But I'm glad I had time because of the pressure simulations. Couldn't work with those. They weren't the right types of pressure, so I had to throw those out. But it did end up working. So yeah, I had, and I broke both receiving stations. I had all the parts printed out, started putting it together right here. Drilled in, wood just snapped. Like, ah, oh, can't use this. It's gonna let out too much air. So then I had to go and go back and make this one all at home, which is a lot better. Had some better tools. Had some help with my dad and his tools. And then sealed it up with the leather proofing right here. Threw a lid on, and I threw this latch on so it really sealed tight. Um, oh, and one other thing I ran into. I, uh, the way I used it is I had a compressor, one of those little handles that just shoots the air. And that's the way I used it to blow the tube through the actual PVC pipes. So I would put it in this little hole, and I had drilled one of those into both of them, which is the other ones up here, you can't see it in this picture. So I started doing that, started testing, realized it wasn't working. We thought it was a, a problem with the connection in the middle. Realized that wasn't the problem. So I lifted the lid on the other side see what would happen. Did that and realized that it worked a lot better with the lid open. So we kind of figured out that the problem was that there was no air escaping. The air was all getting trapped in the other box and that was causing the problem with the shipping. So we drilled a bigger hole at the end. So we drilled a bigger hole, made it a lot bigger so the air could escape a lot easier. easier. And uh, yeah, and then um, 
Uh, one of the other problems I had was actually like gluing the two pipes together. We had them glued together, and then they started to rotate. And it, the, the glue dried, so I had to really pry them apart, scrape off the epoxy, and then re-glue them back together. And then my dogs thought it would be fun to mess with them. They were doing it outside, so it was, it was messing with me. And yeah, we just did a lot of testing. Yeah, so I got my bibliography going. Any questions for you guys? No. no sorry, the doctor the woods. Uh, how so was it successful? It was successful. Oh okay. I've got it I've got a really bad video because since the yeah, we see the good patient family see it going through. The video I have is just the box and see the two kind of just emerge. Yeah, but it's still for when you bring it when you bring it into the presentation. It was way too big. Uh, like it wouldn't just fit it on my Volvo. The Volvo was a little bit too small to be shipping things out of large. No, because the problem is when I glued the two pipes together, it sealed. So it was like 20-ish feet long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because oh yeah, but the problem with the bending the PVC pipe. Uh, so the way I saw it was heat up as like a hair dryer, and when I started to do that, the inside of the tube started to form, and because this was it, was, it was very close to the size of the PVC pipe, I believe this is about two and seven eighths inches, and the inside diameter was three inches, so there wasn't much wiggle room. So when I tried to bend the PVC pipe, it just didn't go through, it got stuck. So yeah, that was the problem. Like, uh, and the, if I were to get the turns, that would be the dimension I needed. I'd have to custom order them all, and it's just very expensive. Any other questions? So I think this is the most important question. Uh, what types of food can you fit in there? Any food that's small enough to fit in here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like you got a small piece of steak to throw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you get it shipped in strips, you know those little I was I was playing with it, sending some food back and forth. Did you actually put food in? I did. What right. food did you send? I had cheeses. Like a bag, or yeah, you could fit a bag on. <laughs> Just open the bag, and dump it in, and. Then. Chug it on the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is the same. What about tomatoes? Tomatoes. What about I mean, you have to eat it pretty quickly so it doesn't leak out. Or <laughs> 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 they don't leak yeah, out. It doesn't absorb it. <laughs> you want to put that theory to the test? Yeah. My dad tried to put a beer through it. And it, yeah. yeah, it didn't work because the beer is too small. We didn't have a bigger no, enough, big enough compressor. The yeah. tube, the tube is too small. Uh, no, the beer was it's like when I had it in the tube. The, the, the capsule is too small. The beer. Yeah. So like you put the you put the beer in here. Oh, and you yeah. put it all. So you were gonna okay, so the tube really is for food. You do this if you have a can of soda. You can just shoot it down the tube by itself. No, that was the problem. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was too small. There wasn't enough area for the uh, pressure to blow. Yeah, that's why this worked so perfectly because it was big enough where there wasn't much air sticking around. Okay. Yeah, so you can get food and look right. Yeah, if I, if, I had, if I had a drink, I'd have to design a different capsule that okay. could help me for the drink. Any other questions? Uh, so, with that said, what would be your solution to make it more feasible for food and drink? Would you change the tube size? Uh, well, the tube size is pretty important because if it was to go in the walls of the house, yeah, it has to be under four inches. Like the inside, I could have expanded the the outside diameter. Because outside the diameter, the PVC yeah. pipes was three point five, so I could have gotten up to four. They just didn't sell those at the Home Depot. Yeah. So yeah, the can would be at least. Okay, so two of these holes on the can. Yeah. Okay. Then we have to make a bigger receiving station with the can inside that, and a bigger tube. Yeah. yeah, if I had a bigger one of these, right. that was still small enough. Cause the inside of this is pretty thick. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. one of the main problems. So if I had a different design on this, yeah. I could fit some of the cans in there. Yeah. 
So was the cam close enough to fit in there? I mean, I mean it's, oh, yeah. the, the cam yeah, is yeah. too, too thin you have right here. This was, this was too big. The bag no, but you're too thin, is it close enough to your cam? I mean, we can thin it out a little bit. Um, but I have a feeling I could just... Or you just get those little baby cans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a nice one. Yeah, there you go. Say, they they don't sell the little baby cans. cans. Yes, they do. They sell the little baby cans. They sell the little baby cans. They sell the little baby I bought a 12 pack of those one time. <laughs> it's like buying a six pack. Yeah, well, it was like everyone was making fun of it. They thought I had small hands. <laughs> what? And then if I were to continue working on this, I'd want to automate it, make it like a vending machine kind of thing where I would yell on. So I want to coke. So I don't have to yell to someone that does. <laughs> Give me the cheeses! Like, <laughs> like, 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 Any other questions? The, the secret one. Alright, well, good job. Thank you.